let's talk about writing expressions in uh, quadratic form. So first of all, let's talk about what do I mean by quadratic form? So the standard form of an expression, a quadratic form in a uh, uh, standard form of a quadratic expression, ax squared plus bx plus c. And you'll notice there's an implied one here. That's a one. And here, there's really an x to the zeroth power because x to the, anything to the zeroth power is one. So we don't usually even, we don't write that x to the zeroth and we don't put the one here either, that's implied. And actually I'm gonna put that one back here for right now because I want you to see that what makes this quadratic is that the highest power here is two times the middle power. So let's take a look at these expressions over here and see which of them might be quadratic. Well, four is two times the middle power two. So this is, a, is it can be written in a quadratic form. 10 is two times the middle power of five. That can also then be written in quadratic form. Six, is, is three times the middle power of two. So this one cannot be written in quadratic form. So now that we know which ones can be written in quadratic form, how do we actually do it? And the way that I like to do it is, uh, is by using a substitute variable uh, u. So what I do is I take, I'm gonna do this one first is I take the middle power here, which is x squared, and I say x squared, and I set that equal to u. Well, once I do that, then I can now rewrite this as u squared, because that would be x squared squared, or x to the fourth, plus 12u minus eight. And there we have a, the expression, and now it's written in quadratic form. And if I want to bring the x's back, I could say, well, x squared squared, because u is equal to x squared, plus 12 x squared. I'm putting in parentheses for, so that I can see that it's the power of 1, and that's the power of 2, you know, minus 8. So either of those are totally acceptable. Um, writing it in quadratic form, as long as you specify that you are making x squared equal to u. Now let's look at the next one. Okay, the next one says 16x squared plus 2x to the fifth, I'm sorry, 16x to the tenth plus 2x to the fifth plus 6. So I'm going to say x to the fifth equals u. So then I'm going to get 16 u squared plus 2u plus 6. And that's a perfectly legitimate answer. But to make it even a little bit nicer, I would see that 16 is 4 squared. So I would go 4u squared plus 2u plus 6. And again, if I wanted to bring my x's back into the equation, I would go 4x to the fifth squared plus 2x to the fifth plus 6. Per personally, I like this one the best.